Oh, a cannon. Not even close. Um, I need to see your train tickets. This is war, Mitchell. Take this bad Larry all the way down. Welcome hoarders. Today we're going to be playing some more Gran Turismo Sport. Uh, we're going to be continuing the Nostalgia Cup. Um, this time I have the uh, Mercedes 300 SEL uh, AMG. I was going to do... Um, oh, what was it called? I think it was called the Red Pig. I was going to do that basically that's what this car originally was and that paint job is so original that it makes it not original because it comes with every single car like if that makes any sense so I was like I'm gonna put something else on this uh, so I picked I think that paint looks really good with it um, so I changed the paint, changed the rims. Uh, it has a tendency to really want to slide. And I don't care for that. But other than that, it's a very good car. Um, I'm thinking if I have any issues uh, winning races with it, I'm going to just, I'm going to just switch back over to the uh, Shelby Daytona because I know that that can win these races. Uh, that we're gonna be s slipping and sliding everywhere on this. And I turned my transmission down a little bit um, in hopes that... Oh, no. Okay. That could have been worse. That could have been much worse. Um, but I turned the transmission down so I have better acceleration because there's not many, like, long straights on this. Well, not many long straights on the tracks we're doing today. Oh, this thing slides so much. I've definitely raced on this track before, though. <clears throat> I think uh, this is where I set up the uh, Volkswagen Beetle, like the new Beetle, but I have the old uh, Herbie paint job on it. I'm really, really uh, trying to do my best to not get the back end of this to slide out. I did turn traction control up to a 2 because it was just not, I was going too quick and sliding everywhere. You can still hear that I'm sliding a little bit, but I think it's a little bit better. Um, obviously traction control is not going to help with that, that's just going to help with me flooring it a little early and then fishtailing. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, right in front of me, that's what the original paint job was for this. Um, I did some Googling, learned about the car, and I was like, I'm going to keep the, uh, or not keep, I'm going to change the paint job. I mean, I like it, but it's too common. I don't like having stuff that common that, I don't know, the car doesn't really have too much meaning to me, so I don't really care. Um, like the, uh... Shelby Daytona, I wanted to make sure I got the right paint job for that. Even though they give you a paint job, I really still wish you could uh, change the logos on the tires. Okay, that was our first lap. Oh. And we have five laps. Okay. That's not bad then, I don't think. We're 26 seconds behind. I wish I could go up this turn a little bit faster, because with the, uh, uh, yeah, you can't do it. You cannot do it. 
Um, I tried. I tried. <laughs> With, like, the MR3 cars, uh, you can floor it all the way through that. And you have enough downforce to be able to make the turn. Unfortunately, this car does not have any downforce options to change. I don't even think it has a splitter on the front or a wing on the back. Nope. There's not even a bumper on the front. I hit the gas too early there. See, I think we're not going to have a problem getting past, like, into third place. Jesus, this thing understeers. So much. I'm going to adjust my toe angle the next race. I'm going to have to. I'm still adjusting this thing way too much. Maybe the drifting, it was better. Because that helped me make some of the turns. Okay, we're going to try to draft. Draft around the Shelby. This sounds good, though. I really like... I'm going to use you as a brake, thank you. Damn, they got better acceleration than me, too. And I even have the transmission way down. It goes like the 186 now. <laughs> oh, don't hit me. I mean, I hit you a couple times. Took that much better that time. Right through there. Damn. If I get any more understeer, I'm going to be going fucking doing donuts. No, no, I wouldn't. Because understeer's... I'd go in a straight line. I completely contradicted what I said. only 15 seconds behind first which I think is really good as of where we're at right now third lap we might be able to catch them they're getting away from us though
coming up on our last lap here. Um, I have to make up seven seconds in this one lap. I see him up there. That's one really good thing is that I see him. I gotta throw the back end enough to make that turn. And I wanna fling, pla pa fling past this guy. Can't even talk anymore. Six seconds behind. Can I make up six seconds? I think what I gotta do is I gotta do all these turns better than him. I think that's my only way of winning this. I could have gone faster through there. I could have gone a lot faster through there. Come on, we made another second. Made another second. Come on, buddy. I'll do it. No! Because he has better acceleration, dude. God damn it. We're going to have to redo it. We're on the last lap. We only got to make up four seconds. That's all we have to do. We're a second and a half behind. Come on, Betty. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Now we just gotta keep the peace. Gotta keep them back there. Which means not messing up a couple of turns. Which you guys know me, that's one thing I'm good at is messing up turns. Oh, we cut that one good. And I won't do anything jank with this turn this time. Other than block this guy from passing me. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we got it. This car can do it. You just have to push it a little harder than you're comfortable with. Um, on to race two.
Okay. We got this. Oh, this is Laguna Seca, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, this is a track I like. This is a track I would like to think I'm good at. But also a track that I can easily mess up some stuff. Kind of worried about this turn here. feel like that's going to give me... Uh, some issues. The only turns that I'm ever really bad at, I would say, are like the sharp, flat turns. Like, if they're banked, I'm usually a lot better with them. Excuse me. Get past all the really slow cars. I know that green car can go faster than... Yeah, okay. There he goes. I'm going to start braking now. Because this turn can uh, make or break you. I don't know how that Mustang's still up here. I kind of like that paint job on it. Keep the keep the Ferrari behind him. <laughs> now this is a six lap race. So I think we'll have a little extra time near the end. To uh to be in first place, hopefully. I'd like to be in first on the fifth lap. Which may happen because since I have my transmission down like this, there's th this track, you just need all the acceleration you can get. Which, luckily, I have the acceleration on here. I could have more. I will say that. I could I could probably turn this down to uh, 150 and be more comfortable. Oh, no. Understeer. Those are those flat turns I'm talking about that I don't like. Like that one there, that was banked. That just, like, cupped me to where I needed to go. The problem is this car has a lot of, uh, or yeah, a lot of. It has no braking. It's not good at braking, and it's it's semi decent at turning. Has a lot of understeer. Um, I did correct some of the understeer. I think I could have did some more inner toe angle on the front, and. Uh, the rear, I ended up making the rear perfectly parallel at zero um, toe angle. I don't know why a lot of these cars, the toe angle is out on the rear. Or no, the toe angle's in on the rear, and then they'll have it out on the front, which makes absolutely no sense. You steer better if your toe angle's in on the front. And I feel like it's pointless to have any type of toe angle on the back. Yeah, I think we're going to have an easy race ahead of us. Because we're 8 seconds behind first place. Well, 9 seconds now. Because he came out of this turn probably faster. Um, and we're only on the third lap. Feel like that Ferrari is gonna give me some, uh, give me a run for my money.
take the inside, hit the back of him. I kind of pushed him there too, because he was going too slow. I could have gone slower there, I think. Nah, we're good. Actually, probably should have braked a little less. I keep going a little too far left. I want to hit the red and white, but I don't want to hit that big red lump because the big red thing is like throwing my car up in the air. We only gained a second on him on that lap. I don't like that at all. Okay, two seconds. Oh, he's right there. Okay. So we got two laps to catch him. That shouldn't be too difficult. push this thing though. That's how I wanted to cut that turn last time. I think we'll get him. Oh, I took a lot of speed around that one. That's gonna help. I don't know how he's in first this time. Usually that um, red Ferrari is up in first. Take a little more speed than him and push him off the track. That's how you do it. <laughs> I could have cleaned past him, though. Well, I'm probably going to have to clean past him. I think I just lost the race there. No, I didn't. We can get him. We can get him. I might have to do something dirty, but I think we can get him. That was him. I was breaking there, trying to take that turn like I always do, and he was just right there. Here we go. That was really, really bad. I didn't want to do that. I really, like, I truly did not want to take that turn like that. I started braking way too late at the end there. You ain't passing, boy. I got that acceleration now. Oh, he started, started catching up, though. Okay, on to the third and final race. Trying to figure out what track this is. <clears throat> I think I know what it is.
Move over. Is it necessary to slow down that much? Yeah, it is. already 16 seconds behind first that's we're doing better somehow than we have like any other race that doesn't make sense there are some uh, races where the AI is a little derpy and doesn't like they go really slow around turns that you could go fast Like me right now. I feel like I could go faster around these, but I don't know. Wow. Fucking. He just like straight up pitted me. I held it though. We had to take that turn a little jank though because of it. I'm just glad there's no penalties for certain things like that. Move. Move! Dude, you're in the fuck. You're gonna block me? Really? You're slower than me. Get out of my way. Jesus Christ. We're like almost evenly matched and it makes it way harder to pass. Damn. I really tried hard to get that too. It just does not have enough power. <sighs> I want to see what that car in first was because that... I don't know how... It was the 330 something. I accidentally. Uh. The 330 P4. I don't know what that is. Might be a Ferrari? Okay, I'm gonna go back to my garage and I'm gonna look at cars real quick. Um. We did win a car though. Um, I already have one. It's the rotary engine, the Wankel engine, whatever. Damn. Okay, we got that again. But what I want to see is stats on these cars. Specifically... Okay, that's 493, this is 638. This is 2,046 pounds, the other one's 3,062. I feel as if the Daytona is better. I think the Daytona has a better chance of winning this. Um, let me see about a transmission on here. And I'm only saying that because that is way higher than I need it to be. 180 is sufficient for that track. Um, I guess try it again. I'm going to push it as hard as I can. But I know this car can take a little more than the Mercedes. More agile. It's going to take the turns better. We're going to be set. Already takes the turns way, way better. 
Well, this also has downforce options. That's something else I have to think about. Like, that Mercedes has no options for downforce whatsoever. It's basically a street car with a lot of power in it. That's all the Mercedes is. This cost 15 times more than that Mercedes does also. I love this car. I would use this for every race if I could. But I try to use a different vehicle or feature a different vehicle every episode. But this series, it just cost way too much. That's the only reason that I haven't used more vehicles. Like a million dollar vehicle, I can earn enough money for that in a day on here easy. But this being 15 million, no, that takes way too long. The brakes on this are actually even better. I didn't think they were, but that Mercedes is also like a thousand pounds heavier than this. So for all I know, they could have the same brakes, just, <laughs> just that all that extra thousand pounds is gonna make you uh, stop way later. We're 10 seconds behind right now. So we're already doing better. Like, much, much better. I just would like to stop getting hit by this car. Okay, we're on our last lap. Uh, I think we're just about done with this lap. Or just about done with the race. Um... This thing's kicking ass. They haven't passed me yet since... Since I took them over, they haven't done anything. And I've been... I'd say for me, relatively, like, just relaxed driving. Compared to, uh... What the Mercedes was. I'm not saying the Mercedes is a bad car. I'm just saying it's not set up yet. It, I'm sure it could do close to as good as this if it was maxed out. It, well, it is maxed out. It just needs a lot of fine-tuning in the suspension and stuff like that. Um, and the transmission. But we are good. Um, before I forget, because I already did forget, last episode I said I was going to show you guys my uh, configuration for the uh, Shelby Cobra. Or not the Shelby Cobra, the Shelby Daytona. I was going to show you the setup of it because I thought there'd be some people out there because this handles really good the way I have it set up. I'm just going to slow scroll. You guys can pause the video if you want. This is all the exact settings that I'm using that I have used for all of this. The only thing that I change each race was the uh, transmission. I only adjust it this way. I don't really fully comprehend how to do these um like all the separate gearing um i know you can like space them out and all that stuff but i'm just better off knowing what's the top speed of that track that i'm going to need to hit and then i usually do two clicks up from that um like that last race we go about 260 there was some where you could go like 240 and if you can go 240, honestly, 180, you could probably do 180 on almost all of the races in this series. Except for there was one that, I think the first three, I ran them at 211. Um, but that's all the settings for that. Um, I wish I could have done that with the Mercedes. I'm sure if I had enough time to, I could win it with that. Because I came in... Uh, second place with it it's just also like i could have won it if i kept retrying because what will happen is some of those vehicles that are a lot more difficult will reset and switch to something else and that's usually when you have like the much better chance to do that 
Um, I don't know if next week we're going to start Group 1 or not. I might skip um, Gran Turismo Sport for next week because I still have to do like other videos and stuff. But I don't know if... Do I even have one? Yes, I do. I have a couple. Um, I feel like if I use the Dodge Tomahawk, that would be cheating. But this is Group 1 cars. So these should all be really, really fast cars. I'll have to see. Um, I do have... That would probably be the one I'd be uh, leaning more towards to using. Maybe even the McLaren. Um, how many races are there? There's seven, so I could get three episodes out of this series um, to try not to make the episodes too long. So I'll probably use multiple cars if uh, I'm able to. But that is going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. And if you did enjoy the video, check out one of my previous, next, and related videos. And don't forget to check out my social medias in the description down below.